kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm the head of audio at A Kids Co. We love having your voices on our shows, and we also love sharing our books with the world. So today I'm inviting you to share your voice. And if your voice ends up on one of our future shows, I'd like to send you some books as thanks. Deal? Deal. Write to me at listen at a kidsco.com or record me a message and email it to me with your grown-up's permission, of course. You can share a cool fact you know. You can tell us about a memory with strong emotions you remember. You can ask questions about the topics of our books. That's listen at a kidsco.com. And now, on with the show. On March 31st, 2022, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released the results of its first nationally representative survey of high school students during the pandemic. The findings of this survey are worth noting. No one could have anticipated back in March of 2020 the great tolls the pandemic would take on our lives, our families, our jobs, our schools, our health, and, more generally, on our vulnerabilities. These past two-plus years have been full of reports on rising COVID cases and deaths, mask mandates being enacted and withdrawn, vaccination availability and access. But it's only now that we are starting to receive data on how the pandemic is affecting the mental health of you, our kids. So before I go any further, let me ask you, how are you doing? Because I don't know if you've been asked that recently, or if you've been asked it often enough. You've each been through so much these past three school years. It's meant transitioning to virtual school for many of you, and then it's meant transitioning back to in-person school, or maybe to a new school, or to a home school. You've gone from being around your friends and classmates and a school setting that felt and looked a certain way to something different. Barriers, both physical and mental, between you and others. Changes that keep anything from feeling normal, and yet changes that are labeled new normal. Grown-ups talk about kids being resilient. That means able to bounce back from change. But these changes are not short-lived, and bouncing back can be really, really hard when so much has been upended. The survey conducted by the CDC, that's the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, focused on high school teens, but the results carry implications for children of all ages. According to the new data, in 2021, more than a third of high school students reported they experienced poor mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic, and 44% reported they persistently felt sad or hopeless during the past year. Quote, These data echo a cry for help, said CDC Acting Principal Deputy Director Deborah Auri, MD, MPH. The COVID-19 pandemic has created traumatic stressors that have the potential to further erode students' mental well-being. Our research shows that surrounding youth with the proper support can reverse these trends and help our youth now and in the future. End quote. For kids that already felt disconnected at school, this data supports that the pandemic only further challenged that connection limited peer interactions, and fewer opportunities to make friends or develop deep friendships resulted in feelings of isolation, stress, and lack of support for many, many kids across the country. Feeling like you have a place, that you belong, that goes a long, long way. I'm sure that's not something you need me to tell you. It's probably something that you're already in touch with in yourself. When you feel connected, you feel cared about, which makes you feel loved and comforted. 
When you feel disconnected, you may feel neglected, which makes you feel discarded, overlooked, unwanted, underappreciated, and perhaps rejected. Quote, School connectedness is a key to addressing youth adversities at all times, especially during times of severe disruptions, said Kathleen A. Athier, Ph.D., director of CDC's Division of Adolescent and School Health. Students need our support now more than ever, whether by making sure that their schools are inclusive and safe, or by providing opportunities to engage in their communities and be mentored by supportive adults. End quote. This is a concern on the minds of many, many grown-ups, whether you know it or not. Last October 2021, the American Academy of Pediatrics issued a Declaration of a National Emergency in Child and Adolescent Mental Health, stating, quote, The pandemic has struck at the safety and stability of families. More than 140,000 children in the United States lost a primary and or secondary caregiver, with youth of color disproportionately impacted. We are caring for young people with soaring rates of depression, anxiety, trauma, loneliness, and suicidality that will have lasting impacts on them, their families, and their communities. We must identify strategies to meet these challenges through innovation and action using state, local, and national approaches to improve the access to and quality of care across the continuum of mental health promotion, prevention, and treatment. End quote. There are many, many grown-ups around you who care a great deal about your mental health and well-being. But this is also something that many Many grown-ups are struggling with themselves throughout this pandemic. How do we take care of ourselves so that we can take care of others? I think it all starts with asking, how are you doing? And getting an honest answer. That goes for all of you, and it goes for all of us, too. I think the hardest part of that question is what to do with the answer. Whether that means being a listening ear, or inviting someone into your activity, or taking a break from the things that are causing stress, or reading a poem to distract yourself, or find meaning and truth in its words. Like this one. Poem 133, The Summer Day, by Mary Oliver. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean. The one who has flung herself out of the grass, the one who is eating sugar out of my hand, who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know what exactly a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel down in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? So here's your homework. Seek the answer to the question, how are you doing? Ask yourself and listen. Ask a friend and listen. Ask a grown-up and listen. This has not been easy. That's me talking, Matthew. It has not been an easy two-plus years of pandemic and change and disconnection and uncertainty. But also, others have been going through this life with us. How they are doing is so connected to how you are doing. I hope you can answer and share and listen and find connection. 
And I hope your mind can light up at the thought of what it is you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. I'm Matthew, and this is Worth Noting. Worth Noting is written and produced by me, Matthew Winner. Audio production is by Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. If you've enjoyed the show, consider giving us a rating or review on Apple Podcasts. And of course, you are always invited to listen to other podcasts made for kids just like you by visiting akidsco.com. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm the head of audio at A Kids Co. And I also host A Kids Book About the podcast and worth noting. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for listening to our shows in your classroom or in your bedroom, over breakfast or over dinner, on your drive or on your downtime. No matter what you do between this listen and the next time you tune in, thanks. You're awesome. And it's because of kids like you that we get to make cool stuff like this. See ya.